Hey everyone, Sugar Poultry here. So as promised, here is a tutorial. This can be used for any uh, major uh, painting program. It can be Photoshop, GIMP, Sai, I suppose. I don't know anything about the other ones, but Photoshop and GIMP for sure. Um, you will need a tablet for this tutorial and you will need pressure sensitivity if you don't know how to get to your tablet settings. Um, I know for Wacoms, you go to the start menu and all programs down at the very bottom there's Wacom tablet and then tablet properties. Um, make sure you have your um, tip feel set to firm and um, that basically shows how much pressure. Um, with that in mind, let's jump right into this. Um, this is a very simple thing that I discovered. Um, I noticed with a lot of beginning fur um, drawers and stuff, they tend to clump the fur kind of like this. Um, and you know, from far away that might look like realistic fur, but I mean, I admit I used to draw it like this too, but this is not a good way to draw. So I, I think that putting the fur closer together, the more, you know, realistic type of clump looks better. So there's some, there's some good fur <laughs> clumps right there. The lines, it's okay if the lines are touching, it's okay if they're not perfect, if they're squiggly or whatever, you know, like it adds all to the realism if you look at fur. And um, even if it is clumped together, the, the strands like this, the clumps, um, they don't look good if you just, you know, continue on in that kind of sense. Um, I like the way that these are touching up here. And we want to kind of build off of that. And so um, I'm going to start, I, I kind of start to the bottom and work up because it's, I don't know, it just gives me a better look. I, I literally layer over an existing clump of fur. So you get that kind of look. So it looks like a pretty, a pretty decent looking um, clump of fur. Let's see. And the brush I use is a little, um, it's not, you know, a normal brush. So if you want that kind of brush, it's in the uh, video description. Um, you'll have to play around with Photoshop settings because it's, it's, um, it's kind of a challenging brush to work with if you don't know how to work around Photoshop settings and stuff like that. So yeah, you start at the bottom and you work your way up with this kind of texture and it looks really realistic. And here's an example. Um, I usually start around the edge and work my way in. I don't always, um, but, and even the smaller hairs up here at the top of his head, um, it doesn't have to be you know, like you can see that there's lines, oops, you can see that there's lines like this. That's okay for those smaller um, hairs, but for the bigger ones like these that are a little bit more flowy, it's, it's always best to start at the bottom and work your way up. And it gives you a really nice texture, and yeah, that's my main character, Andrew. Most of you might recognize him. So, yeah, that's basically... Um, Hopefully this helps someone out there, and good luck with all of your drawing endeavors.